Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. In this video, we will discuss about the anatomy of the hip bone, also known as os coxae in Latin. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Hip bone is a large irregular bone which is mainly composed of three elements that are ilium, ischium and pubis. These are connected by their bodies at the acetabulum. We will discuss each of these separately and see what all anatomical features are present there. Coming to the first part, the ilium. Ilium forms the upper part of the hip bone. This red shaded part of the bone is the ilium. We will discuss about the anatomical features first and then we will see where are they present on the bone. Lower end of ilium is called as the body of ilium. It is fused with the pubis and the ischium at the acetabulum. Upper end of ilium is called as the ala of ilium. Let's have a look at these. This is the lateral view of the bone. This part of the ilium is the body of the ilium that forms the roof of the acetabulum. And this plate like part is the ala of ilium. The upper border of ala is in the form of a broad ridge that is convex upwards and this ridge is known as the iliac crest. The anterior end of the iliac crest projects forwards as the anterior superior iliac spine. The posterior end of the crest forms the posterior superior iliac spine. Enough of the theory, let's have a look at these features. This tracing is the iliac crest that is convex upwards. This expanded part is the anterior superior iliac spine and just below it is the anterior inferior iliac spine. This expanded part is the posterior superior iliac spine and like the anterior part it also has the posterior inferior iliac spine below the superior. The inner part of ala is smooth and concave and it is called as iliac fossa. On the inner part, there is a surface that articulates with the sacrum to form the sacroiliac joint and this surface is called as the auricular surface. Above the auricular surface, there is a tuberosity present that is called as the iliac tuberosity. This is the medial view of the bone. As you can see, this concave part is the iliac fossa. This is the auricular surface that forms the sacroiliac joint. And above this, there is this iliac tuberosity. There is a sharp border that separates the iliac fossa from the auricular surface that is called as the arcuate line. And the lower end of the arcuate line reaches the junction of the ilium and pubis that is called as the iliopubic eminence. This line marks the arcuate line. And this line ends at the iliopubic eminence. Lastly, there are three gluteal lines present on the ilium. Anterior gluteal line, posterior gluteal line, and inferior gluteal line. This is the lateral view of the bone and the lines traced marks the gluteal lines. This is the anterior gluteal line. This vertical line is the posterior gluteal line. And this horizontal line is the inferior gluteal line. All these lines are present on the outer surface of ilium. With this we complete the first part and move to the next, that is the ischium. The ischium consists of a main part called as the body. There is a projection present called as the ramus of ischium. Let's have a look at these. This purple shaded part is the ischium and this is the body of ischium. This lower part is called as the ramus of ischium. The lower part of the body forms the ischial tuberosity and above the ischial tuberosity there is an ischial spine present. In order to understand the function of the ischial spine, we need to discuss about the notches present. There are two notches present known as the greater sciatic notch and the lesser sciatic notch. And the function of the ischial spine is to separate the greater sciatic notch from the lesser sciatic notch. This part is the greater sciatic notch. Below the greater sciatic notch is this projection called as the ischial spine. 
Below the skill spine, there is this lesser scare technology. And lastly, this is the skill tuberosity. With this, we complete the ischium and move on to the last part, that is the pubis. The pubis has a body, a superior ramus and an inferior ramus. And there is a symphysial surface that articulates with the opposite surface to form the pubic symphysis. This is the medial view of the bone. This is the inferior pubic ramus. And above this is the superior pubic ramus. This surface is the symphysial surface that forms the pubic symphysis. This is the pubic symphysis formed as a result of articulation of the two symphysial surfaces. This whole cavity is the acetabulum formed by the bodies of ilium, ischium and pubis. And it is a deep cup shaped hemispherical cavity on the lateral aspect of the hip bone. This hole is the obturator foramen. So that is it for today guys, don't forget to subscribe the channel and follow us on Instagram. Links in the description.